Good morning, so today is my very first vlog on this channel for you and I'm filming today because I'm off to hospital in London to get an MRI scan on my shoulder. Now I've been waiting years for this, I've been waiting since I was genuinely about 15 for this day, so I'm so excited and it's the start of yet another journey for me, so I'm going to bring you guys along. Let's get some light up in here. Let me run you down on the story so far, okay? It all starts when my Ellis Danlos story starts, which was my last video, so I'll link that below for you. But my left shoulder has been incredibly weak since I was about 13. And when I was 15, we started looking into surgical options to help fix it because it was astronomically bad, okay? It comes out every single day. I managed to dislocate my shoulder from doing the slightest little activities. And I was told that there was nothing that could be done for it because it's connective tissue within your shoulder and obviously mine's quite faulty anyway because of my genetic. So with me, they have decided to give a procedure a go called the Latarge procedure, I believe. And they are able to put, I believe it's a whole piece of bone in front of your shoulder to stop it pushing forwards. But before they get to doing any of that, they have to do an MRI scan to see if I've actually got enough healthy bone in my shoulder for them to even be able to think about it. So today is my first step on this journey that I've been waiting for for so many years and I'm so excited but I am also a bit nervous because hospitals are not my favourite place and especially when it comes to my shoulder I've never had much luck but today's going to be different and we're going to have such a good day. Let's go. I've literally just had a text off of my little brother saying that my dad's car won't start, which is less than ideal because obviously I need to drive to London. Well, he needs to drive me to London because I can't drive yet. But it is 10 to 12 now and my appointment is until 3. So we should be okay because we only live about an hour and a bit away from London. We're going to pray that his car starts. We've got three hours. We should be okay. Let's just hope for the best. I feel like you just follow me around random parts of my house today. So let's just sit on the stairs for a bit. Um, I asked my brother to tell me when my dad's car was fixed. It's now been 10 minutes and I've had no response from either of them, which is lovely. Um, we're meant to leave at 12. It's now five minutes past 12. But do you know what? We're just going to roll with it. Cause I either make it or I don't. And no, I, no I, I would like to make it. Yeah, I would like to make it. I've actually got no trousers on yet. <sighs> I've got Nike Pro shorts on because um, because my joggers that have no metal on them are at my dad's house and if I can wear joggers with no metal on them then I don't have to wear the hospital gown which is kind of my goal for the day because I'm not a fan of hospital gowns. Oh my god, actually, the last hospital gown I had when I came back from A&E, I was wearing it and um, we changed it into a Halloween costume. Let me find this for you on Insta. First when I see your Oh my god, my brother just texted me. His car started. Yeah. Goodness me, I hate myself. That is me and my housemates on Halloween. That is me and my hospital gown. I'll probably insert the picture because that was awful. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I live in a three-story house and I've just run all the way upstairs to run all the way back downstairs to get these joggers because the plan was... I was going to go to my dad's house to pick up some joggers to wear with no metal on them so that I didn't have to wear the hospital gown. But we might not have time for that now. So I'm about to get these, which are my just basic Adidas three-stripe joggers, but they do have metal on them. So I might have to accept my fate and go for the gown. Car started and I'm so happy. We've made it to a petrol station just near my house, my uni house. So I'm gonna pick up my things, drop off what I need to drop off, and then we'll get going to the hospital. Right, we've made it to the hospital. I've got my N95 <laughs> mask on, because no Rona for me. So this will be an interesting experience, I reckon. I got something in my eyeball. Can't even see me smiling, it's quite funny.
First stop is CT and interventional suite to get the diaper in my shoulder, and then after that, we've got the MRI scan. Dead on time. Hello. So I'm in here getting my gowns and my masks on. I've got a gown on the back and a gown on the front, and that is it and I've got my mask. So I've had the injection in my shoulder there. So there's now dye inside me, which is a bit crazy. All done. Done the injection, done the MRI scan. And then afterwards I was like, where's my dad gone? Because I couldn't find him, he wasn't waiting where we were before. And I just walked basically around half the hospital trying to find him, only for him to be sat in literally the room next door. So no one told me where he was. I've done cheeky mask swap. In the MRI machine, they give you a different mask without any metal on the nose because obviously you're not allowed anything metal in that machine because it gets like attracted. So I've just got this one now with no metal, but my glasses keep it on my face, so it's a win win for me. It is about quarter to nine now and I must have got back from hospital at like six, maybe seven at the latest and I fell asleep on the drive back and then I got straight in the front door, got in bed and had another nap literally until two minutes ago. So today I really took it out of me, I didn't really do much but I'm so tired. I think the injection they put in my shoulder may have something to do with my tiredness. But I'm going to get a shower because I don't want the hospital on me. I did plait my hair with every intention of not getting a shower. Because I was told that my shoulder was going to hurt for like a few days. But it's actually alright. Like I can move it about. It doesn't really hurt that much. So there was no point in me plaiting my hair. But... You know what? It was a nice try. I had a good time. I looked cute for a bit, so I'm not complaining. But I'm going to take these out. I'm going to hop in the shower and I'll feel so much brighter. I mean, I've ruined my sleeping pattern. That's without a doubt because... Oh, why should I do that? No, you know what? I should have done that. I was absolutely knackered. But I'm going to get a shower and then enjoy my evening. So that is all for me today. I hope you've enjoyed my first vlog. I think it's one of those things that I'll learn as I go along. Maybe I won't always vlog on this huge camera because it is humongous and I do, as I say, have very little arms. So I might try vlogging on the iPhone for a bit, but we'll see how it goes. So I will see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.